I had to deal a lot of those muscle heads when I, when I first went into New York. There was Ivan Pusky. That he didn't want to work the way I wanted to work. And, you know, just muscle-bound, muscle-freak guys. And they can't work. Tony Atlas, now he could work. You know, and he was muscle-bound. Rocky Johnson, he could work. Tony Atlas, you know, this guy you wrestled a ton with in, in, w, yeah. in the WWF days. First one I found was back in, I think, 76 as well. So you had over 20 years with, with Tony Atlas in different matches uh, before he was Mr. USA, I think. And yeah, he, he was good because he would sell me, and I'd get him down, whatever, and then when he made the comeback, you know, he'd throw those haymaker punches, and I'd be all over the place, and I might take some bumps for him and stuff, but Tony was a good guy, and... I used to do interviews, and we never really had an angle, but they put us on top, especially in upstate New York. And Vincent Mann would, so what do you think about Tony Atlas? And I go, you know what? He's got all these muscles and everything, but you know what he's got? He's got spindly legs. <laughs> and I have the figure four leg lock. And so the whole thing was, I'm calling, saying he's got spindly legs. And Vince Senior or Junior loved it because he was the interviewer guy. You say he has spindly legs. I said, well, look at it. Big on the top, little bitty legs, and I'm going to put the figure four on him. I swear, every place, and Tony was a great interview. He would have like a, back, I call it a back porch interview. Tony, just a real humble guy and, and down to earth guy, and he, he would push that out on those interviews, I'd sell out everywhere with him. And we had no angle except he had spindly legs and I had to figure four leg lock, you know? So it was just good shit. And Vince Sr., not Jr., Jr. Jr. was a great, a great com, uh, interview guy and he, he was great. Did you guys have any matches with, with him and Rocky Johnson or were they already disbanded at the time? I felt like the dream team and Rocky Johnson would have been or uh, that tag team would have been. I incredible. don't remember that. I think we were more or less stuck with uh, the Bulldogs and the Rougeau brothers. Uh, I think it was just the Bulldogs and the Rougeau brothers. Wyndham and Rotundo was, Wyndham got mad and quit.